The MLB postseason is quickly approaching, and teams are fighting for their spots in the playoffs. The Phillies are atop the National League wildcard standings, and they look to seize a playoff series at Citizens Bank Park. What are the Phillies going to look like in the playoffs with both their lineup and their pitching? That's exactly what I'll be looking for in this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet if you want to catch all my content on the Phillies from now until the end of the postseason. Let's jump right into the Phillies rotation. Good pitching is crucial to playoff success, so the Phillies rotation is going to have to be strong if they want to win. I assume they will move their rotation down to four players, those players being Zach Wheeler, Aaron Nola, Ranger Suarez, and Taiwan Walker. Michael Lorenzen and Christopher Sanchez will move to the bullpen and work more as long relief pitchers. I love what Christopher Sanchez has done out of the rotation, but it is highly unlikely that the team will move Walker out of the rotation in favor of Sanchez. Lorenzen has been subpar after the no-hitter, so he will assume duties in the bullpen. Wheeler will take game one of the wildcard series, followed by Nola and Suarez. Zach needs to set the tone of the playoffs, as what he does in game one may dictate how the entire series plays out. Nola needs to step it up as he has struggled more than he ever has in a season before. Ranger has been very good this year, and I expect him to step up in the big moment if he has to pitch in a winner-take-all game three. As for Taiwan Walker, I don't expect him to get a long leash these playoffs. Sanchez and Lorenzo will likely come out of the bullpen earlier for his starts. I don't think the Phillies will trust him as much as the other guys in these big games. We now know what the rotation will look like, so we need to figure out this bullpen. I was very confident in the bullpen until about a month ago. They have really struggled limiting runs and closing games out recently, so I don't know what to expect from them. Craig Kimball remains the closer, but he hasn't been the same guy since earlier this season. He needs to be locked down in October, or we might see Ranger Suarez do what he did last year, coming out of the bullpen as well as starting some games. Sir Anthony Dominguez has really struggled and Jose Alvarado has done well but struggles limiting base runners. Gregory Soto has been very underwhelming, posting an ERA of 4.91. Matt Strom and Jeff Hoffman have both been very consistent throughout the season and will look to provide much needed consistency in that bullpen for the playoffs. Overall this is a bullpen that needs to stop blowing games, especially when the offense comes up clutch. Hopefully the atmosphere of Citizens Bank Park in October will help this bullpen gain some life. The offense is one of the most feared offenses in baseball. Top to bottom, the Phillies are stacked and can put up big numbers on opposing pitching staffs. Let's start off talking about Kyle Schwarber. I've already made a video explaining how weird of a player Schwarber is, but he's still insanely good. He has over 40 home runs and 100 walks out of the leadoff spot this season and has an OPS of 820. Schwarber needs to have another postseason like he did last year where he had a lot of home runs in big spots. He needs to start the game off with a good at bat because that sets the tone. He will most likely only DH in the playoffs with Bryce Harper playing first because we can't have Schwarber on the outfield in big games. Trey Turner is going to hit second in the order after his complete turnaround this season. He has improved on almost everything he did wrong at the beginning of the year and looks better than ever. He will be up in a lot of clutch situations so he will have to continue this success. Bryce Harper will be batting third as he is the MVP of this lineup. We saw last year how clutch he can be after his National League pennant winning home run against the Padres in Game 5 of the NLCS. He has been great after coming back from Tommy John surgery and I can't wait to see what he does this October. After Harper the lineup gets a little questionable, but I'm going to say that Alec Bohm will be batting cleanup and playing third. They have had him there recently and he has been great all season, so I don't see any reason to move him. He also hits incredibly well next to Bryson Stott in the lineup. Speaking of Bryson Stott, he will be batting fifth as he has been there for a while now. His balance of contact, power, and speed makes him one of the more consistent players in this lineup. He's probably the only true 5 tool player they have as he can do almost everything with the bat, with the glove, and on the base pass. His ability to work long at bats will be big in the playoffs and having him behind a guy like Bohm is really nice to have. JT Romuto will most likely be batting 6th even though he hasn't had a great season this year. He has not been clutch all season long and can hit with runners in scoring position. I would recommend moving him down in the order but Thompson seems to like him there. Brandon Marsh has been moved up to the 7th spot with Nick Castellano scuffling his late. Marsh makes a lot of contact that results in base hits. He has been consistent all year and he is a great guy to have in the bottom of the order. Nick Castellanos as I mentioned before has been struggling as of late and has been hitting 8th. I don't know if he will remain there for the playoffs, but it looks likely. If he wants to find success in the playoffs, he needs to take more pitches, be patient, and not swing at sliders down and away out of the zone. When he trusts himself, that is when he is a feared hitter. He's been doing a lot better as of late, so I hope he continues that success. I think Johan Rojas will be getting the starting nod in the 9th spot in the playoffs because he provides so much. His speed is incredible and his defense is amazing out in center field. These are the things you need in the playoffs. Expect to see Rojas out in center field for game one of the wildcard series. 
The bench right now has guys like Garrett Stubbs, Edmundo Sosa, Christian Pache, Jake Cave, and Rodolfo Castro. I do not want to see Castro on the playoff roster, as I believe he only has a couple hits since he was traded here almost two months ago. I hope to see them call up a guy like Cody Clemens or Weston Wilson and send Castro packing. Pache and Cave have been solid in the outfield as replacements, and Sosa always provides good defense with a little offense sprinkled in there. Stubbs rounds out the bench as the backup catcher, as this Phillies bench is pretty solid overall. The Phillies are going to need to step it up when October arrives, because they are the reigning National League champs and they have something to prove. They have the team to do it, but they need to come up and perform. The inconsistency of the bullpen as well as the offense worries me, but I still think they will find playoff success. I for one cannot wait for the playoffs because it's going to be another amazing red October. Let me know in the comments what you think the Phillies will look like in the playoffs and what version of the Phillies we will see. Make sure to like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss any of my Phillies content. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.